Welcome to Football Rants, brought to you by Benchwarmers FC. I'm your host, Liz Smog. And I'm your other host, Eric the Instigator. What is going on, Bench Rumors? Welcome to episode number four of Football Rants, where we bring the news to you in 10 minutes or less. I'm one of your hosts. As you heard, I'm Eric the Instigator. And with always, here for you, Liz Smog. So, as you guys heard last time, we did go over our uh, over the, the recording by a little bit. And Edgar did promise you guys something in return. We were called out on it, and good to you. Uh, we got a letter. We got an email uh, thanking us for the pizza that we sent out. So, read like this. Let's smug, instigator. Thank you very much for the free pizza. And for football rants. You're welcome. I was finally able to talk to my coworker. She's a huge Barca fan, and you guys helped me out kicking off a conversation. I asked her out, and we had our first date on your dime. We did pizza and a movie. Thanks for the hookup. Sincerely, Mike Coxlong. Mike, you're welcome. I'm glad that you had a great time. Keep watching and uh, let us know if uh, we go over again. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know where to reach out to us, you can always reach out to us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, BetRumorsFC1. Email us, Bench at Benjamin's FC TV and YouTube, Benjamin's FC TV. And do it like Mike. You can also email us at benched at benchwarmersfc.com. Did I screw that part up? I wasn't listening to you, sorry. I think I screwed it up, so thanks for catching up on me. <laughs> so, to celebrate our fourth episode, we haven't been canceled yet. Ben Trumers is still supporting. Uh, we are going to take a shot in celebratory manner. So, cheers to you. Can cheers we make this you. a tradition for every four episodes that we're not canceled? Sure. Cheers. <sighs> It is winter break in the EPL, so uh, we, we we deserve to celebrate a little bit, right? Oh, God. That was horrible. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. With that being said, are you ready to kick it off? Let's do this. Ten minutes or less starts. Time starts now. So, to kick it off, we have league, league action that is... <laughs> I fucked that up completely. <laughs> Yo, that shot went straight to your head, 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 bro. Oh my Guys, God. we're going to start off with recaps. The news in recaps is uh, starting in the Bundesliga, where we saw a, some great games this weekend, especially Leverkusen versus Borussia. Was this an upset? Uh, yes, it was, definitely. How could it be an upset? They're both fighting for fourth and fifth place. I mean, why? it shouldn't be an upset. Haaland is there, that's why. Haaland has made it to Borussia. Amir Chan scored a banger. Borussia should have taken this game away, but it didn't go their way. Haaland didn't score, but Leverkusen did. Game Four result points. was 4-3. Banger of a game. Watch the recaps. Definitely worth your five minutes of time. Uh, next game, Snores Fest. But we had to watch it. We yeah. had to talk about it. And we have to tell you. Because it's keeping the Bundesliga competitive. Bayern Munich versus RB Leipzig ended up in a big nil-nil. No, no, That's crazy. Because you'd expect these two teams to at least give it to one another in certain ways. Not on the pitch. Hey, not hey, anywhere hey. else. Not like Mike Oxlong. But, uh... Definitely, you know, this game was a snooze fest, no, no, uh, RB Leipzig was, were able to keep Bayern at bay and not go down, and that keeps the table even more intense and more tight. It's we have like, a six-point swinger in the... Oh, <laughs> Mike, take it easy. <laughs> six-point swinger in the Bundesliga, so keep your eyes out and see what's coming at you this following game week. Next league, we have La Liga, where Real Madrid continue to be on top by... Winning away against Osasuna, and the big thing in this game was Benzema. No longer Benzema. Benzema. Goat. Goatzema. You tell me what you want to call him. He is putting it on all platforms. He's assisting, scoring goals. He's doing everything Real Madrid need. Ronaldo who? Exactly. No Ronaldo, no problem. For years, he was called Buns. Now everybody realizes that he's got the best Buns in town. So... <laughs> there you go. Benzema doing work for Real Madrid. 4-1 over Osasuna, but they were losing. That's right. They came out, yeah, they came from behind, which is, uh, you know, always, always a, a, a hill to climb at the end of the day. But Real Madrid got it done. That's all, that's all that matters. Unfortunately, it looks like the tides are turning and Real Madrid might be favorites to win the league. Especially after the Real Betts versus Barcelona result. Yeah, I know. Real Betts won 2 uh, more than, more. Uh, sorry, yeah, that's that's what I got to your head, bro. <laughs> yeah, for real, <laughs> yo, Real Betts lost two three, but they were winning at one point. They were putting work to Barcelona. So, Mike, I know you were talking to this chick about Real Madrid about Barcelona. 
Careful, man. You want to keep talking to her. Can't be talking crap about Barcelona. Just know they're having a very bad season, and you got to tell her, I'm here for you. When they lose, come over, and I'll take care of you. Also, let her know that the ref's there for Barcelona as well. So when things go really, when they go really south, don't worry. The ref will bail you out. There were two red cards, one for each team. Just know that Fakir fucked off the ref and therefore got himself fucked off the field. And uh, Ling Lei for celebrating too much. Ling Lei, Ling Lejet, Ling Let. Still get fucking French. Anyways, he got sent off the field for celebrating on his first goal and then pulling off a stupid, 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 but must do foul, technical foul. And eh, not must do, but yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, that's all the way. That's the only way we're defending now. It's, the, it's, it's the way for the ref to kind of. Uh, Fixed the error he made earlier on. So, in a way, the ref was correcting himself. Still, Barcelona got the win. Um, I, Don't believe oh, the headlines. Don't believe the headlines. Messi getting hat trick of assist is bullshit. That doesn't mean he's better. That means that Barcelona's in trouble. Messi's out of form. He's assisting. Yeah, okay, he's not scoring them, but the team is looking in shambles. The attack may be putting in goals, but the defense isn't stopping them. So, Barcelona has a long, long season left ahead of them. And I'm not mistaken, I think that was Satan's return home. <laughs> not, not to help, but uh, that piece. He got the result. He needed to get it. If he had lost back at Real Betts, the headlines would be dreadful for Barcelona. They get through it this week, but who knows if they're going to get through the next one. Yeah. Nextly, we have Serie A, where, again, the, it looks like all these other leagues are kind of getting more competitive because the, the biggest upset of the weekend was Verona beating Juventus at home. So, I mean, the, the big news with this, with this game was Ronaldo broke a record for Juventus, but that shouldn't be the headline. The headline should be Ronaldo couldn't win it for Juventus. So. The headlines are, again, wrapped around Ronaldo where it should be against uh, Juventus. Juventus did lose the game. This was their chance to break up ahead, get in front of the pack, but they didn't. Everybody in the Serie A is dropping the ball. Lazio dropped it midweek. Juventus dropped it now. And maybe Inter will pick it up. That takes us to our next derby, yeah. the, the Milan derby. Milan won, in this case, of course, they're both into Milan, in AC Milan, right? No. Point is, AC Milan was winning 2-0 at the beginning of the game. Come the second half, things turned around. Who knows how Conte bitched out everybody in the locker room, but the point is, they ended up 4-2. I've never seen three United players look so happy. Oh, I'm sorry, they're on Inter now. Oh, that explains why. So, yeah, I mean, Lukaku, smelling his shirt, smelling, you know, it looks like he just got it off his his, his girlfriend's um, underpants, but he was very happy to score that goal and celebrate, especially in Zlatan's face. Uh, Zlatan, although he didn't score, he didn't have the assist, correct? He got the assist and he got a goal. And he got a goal. So, AC Milan seemed to be wrapped around Zlatan's. AC Milan, depending on the 38-year-old, Zlatan, you still got the business, but the team don't have your back. They can't do it. Defensively, they're weak. Inter Milan was able to put in some bangers of goals. And therefore, still in the competition. Still going for Serie A. See, is that just sticking in his nose or doesn't belong there anymore? He shouldn't be playing. Oh, wait. That's not a nose joke. That's just a joke on Zatan. But, uh, <laughs> so, an honorable mention that we definitely want to shout out is Sheffield United. Even though we didn't cover Premier League, but Sheffield did win this past weekend. And that puts them in fifth place, two points behind Chelsea. This is a team that, again just got promoted from the championship. So they are this close, this close. I don't, we can do it any closer? I'll do it closer, hold on. Let's do it closer. That close to get in Champions League football next year. And Champions that, League. And with that, Edgar, Marco, and Eric are gonna be having a football final uh, uh, bet. Whoever, wherever okay. Sheffield lands is the two losers are gonna have to do something uh, because of that. They will want pay. Uh, Eddie, Mayor of the Glass, Diego the Statro, and Ricky the Pundit to join that bet. Let us know that in the comments and as well as any other platforms you guys reach out to us. Now, give us some views. Uh, all right, Headlines. that wraps up the recaps. We've killed seven minutes, so we have three minutes. Oh, shit. Otherwise, we owe another pizza to Mike and uh, go through the headlines. Right. So, headlines, real quick. Mo Salah now plays rugby. In case you didn't see, he went to go play rugby. Uh, he is actually very, very good. Used his speed very well. Uh, reason is... It was his backup plan if Liverpool didn't work out. Didn't work out with Chelsea. Then he went to Roma. No, Fiorentina. Then Roma. Then Roma sold him to Liverpool. If he failed, hey, he could have backed up as a rugby player. Yeah. Uh, aside from that, another player who could use Salah's legs is Dembele. Because he is injured again. Did you know he was related to our Benchy, Eddie, made out of glass? They share the made out of glass gene. 
<laughs> he's out for six months and doesn't look like he's going to be playing for Barcelona ever again, in my eyes. That's it. Uh, Pep has came out on the news recently saying that he's not the best coach, and I personally agree with it. Edgar, I don't know so much, but he's a very much... He's chic. Foiled. He's chic. He's he a brat in your eyes. His own money. Whatever, man. Whatever. Pep, he's, a, he's a rich girl with a deep purse who loves to look good. He's a materialistic, what you're telling me. Uh, have you seen the price of his players? Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. But another news, breaking news, there has been a drive-by at the Emirates. A drive-by shooting. This is very sad news. This is Shots very has sad been fired. News. Emery shot fires at Arsenal. At Arsenal players specifically. He is a suspect. Uh, authorities are having him brought in. They're trying to find out what was said. And uh, reports say that uh, he did have partial fault for the drive-by. But that Arsenal is also at fault. So, Emery, I... Emery. Fuck you, Emery! Fuck you! <laughs> All right. And to end things up, I think this is more of an uplifting news, hopeful news. Hey, every us, news, local, every news flash, MLS. every episode of uh, the latest news has to come out with happy news so you can end your day on a happy day. First, at least for some of us here in the United States, you know, we, we want to see the big stars come here. So, what does that mean? Derek Beckham into Miami FC, they are going to bring the big stars over here. They are what? They're going to retire us. What, what we it? will be calling it Inter Milan will be bringing the world's next retirement Super Inter League Miami. club. Inter Miami. What was that? It's Inter Milan. They played. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> so Inter Miami. What are they going to bring again? over Neymar, Cavani, Griezmann, Messi, Chino Silva, and Suarez? The pit bull himself, not Mr. International, Suarez. <laughs> Luis Suarez. <laughs> They, they, I mean, one does bite, the other one doesn't, so... Yeah. But they both have ugly-ass teeth. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, we did it. We were under 10 minutes. Awesome, Edgar. High five for the consistency on that. Mike, buy your Cheers. own damn pizza next time. Uh, with that being said, we are going to log off. Thank you for watching uh, Football Rants. We are Best Friends TV again. The best of the boys. Make sure to always kiss your loved ones. Mike? Wrap it up.